Mixture is an action-adventure platforming game that combines two characters' unique skills with what they call self-co-op, meaning you control both the alchemist and the moth essentially at the same time. You'll be fighting for around 6 to 11 hours in the first playthrough, moving through four unique biomes and more than 30 levels. There are several oversized bosses to fight and figure out throughout this pretty epic standalone action adventure. The gameplay, as you can see, plays out in this hybrid third person, which if you've played VR games like Moss, Astrobot, or Vex, then you know what you're in for in terms of perspective. It doesn't matter how many platformers I play in VR, they all give something unique to the subgenre, plus this one just hits me a bit different. I genuinely have next to no complaints, but the camera can get a little weird in certain situations, but I've had access to this game for the better part of a month, and they've been updating it consistently and successfully, I might add, meaning their fixes aren't breaking other things for me. And during that time, the few little hiccups I had with the camera went away through their updates prior to release. I really enjoyed my time with this game, and I will absolutely be finishing it soon. That said, this is more of an overview impressions video. The presentation and graphics are good and solid in my opinion, and there were times while playing like this... Holy crap, look at that. Oh, this looks awesome in the headset. That I was reminded of the older God of Wars, like 1 through 3, where you'd be in a scene and Kratos would be microscopic, but the environment would be ridiculously massive. This gave me very much the same vibe. I really, really enjoyed the presentation so far. There's also good pacing with unlocks, and the game does a good job of keeping the player well informed throughout, at least during the time I've had with the game, which is about at the halfway point. I do like the interactions during conversations too, and even though the dialogue isn't voiced, it's super easy to keep up with. That said, the UI interactions, when you use your hands, feel very responsive and clicky because you get like a little vibration in the controller while you go through menus and or dialogue. There's a relatively deep lore in this game too, if that's your thing, and if it is, then I would expect those players to want to replay the game even after finishing it as there's a lot of collectible secrets and other unlocks you could get that you might miss first time through. The puzzles are also a spot where I was reminded of the older God of Wars too, and even though you mix third person action with first person throwing to solve them, it feels very fresh in VR. I know Moss and others had good ones too, but this is just unique and I'm personally really loving the vibe I get from it. Boss fights are awesome, at least going by the first few in the game. I won't spoil too much, so I'm going to show you the first one at the end of the video if you're interested. However, I do want to leave the majority of collecting, secrets, abilities, and puzzles to figure out up for you to discover. Would I recommend this game? Well, not blindly. I'd say if you're in for a lore-rich, meaty third-person, first-person game that will easily last for 6 to 11 hours, then I'd say you're in for an excellent time. I love VR platformers that have come before it, and I actually really like this one a tad bit more like it kind of edges out the rest of them and I'm not exactly sure how to explain how it does it just for some reason feels I don't know it's more catered to me I guess is the best way to put it that being said though the game launches today on the MetaQuest 2 for $24.99 USD and for now other platforms are still currently in TBD status I really love what I've played so far other than the occasional goof on the camera there's nothing negative here it's just an excellently told story that, with really crafty ways of presenting gameplay to the player. This is definitely Survivor approved, so enjoy this boss battle, and remember to keep playing, keep surviving, and take care.